Hello and welcome everyone back to another video. My name is DJ Khaled and today we have kind of a serious and different video that I haven't done before and I want to make more videos of these in the future which is about security in especially in the DeFi world, DeFi world. You know what I mean? This is a wild west guys. Anything can happen. Yes, anyone can have your public address wallet and you are safe. Yes, we know a lot of us, we know the whole protocol of never giving this private seeds away, private passwords away, but sometimes that is not enough. Why? Because the DeFi world is a wild west and a lot of times we sign up for stuff that are malicious without even knowing. If not malicious, vulnerable. You know what I mean? This is the security issue, the, vul the whole problem of of getting into DeFi world, getting into the low caps when stuff are not really secure, easily penetratable, you know what I mean? And today I just want to give you guys some quick tips which I myself have been falling super badly for but I'm gonna try to go through this with you guys in this video and today I just want to start off with this guy whose name is this YouTuber, this small YouTuber whose name is Kataka Uzumaki. This guy actually has uploaded a video um, I think a week ago and I seen this on the drip uh, group and absolutely this guy he said he said it breaks my heart and what happened basically is that you know he has a drip account worth four hundred thousand dollars and it got compromised so basically what happened someone got access into his wallet so now he has access to his drip and what that guy did has he has made a bot the attacker has made a bot to where it automatically cashes out the amount of you know accumulated in his drip and i basically you know what i mean it cuts off your drip account there's nothing you can do uh, but you know today i just saw a video that he actually did upload that thankfully he has countered this by creating another bot you know people from the community helped him create another bot that basically cashes out before the bot and then sends it to another wallet airdrops it to another wallet basically um but aside from that before you should even reach this level hopefully god forbid none of us will is keep in mind guys that saving and not sharing your password phrase is absolutely the most important thing you should do right as soon as someone has that password phrase they have equal access they have top the topmost access to your wallet they can do anything they can transfer all the tokens whichever where they want and that's something you don't want to do but there's other stuff there's other ways where you can get hacked yes you can get hacked on crypto which is through the entry points we're talking about metamask this is the major part so how can you actually get hacked well keep in mind is that you going through uh, I just want to show you guys this picture right here you've got you guys have seen these pictures before especially in the dap world where you have to kind of allow and create permissions so you can actually use the dap on a daily basis you have to kind of accept uh, these transaction fees right but what are actually these transaction fees these are permissions that you are giving to that website and usually a lot of them they are allowing as you guys right here if you click on actual edit permission usually by default they are on unlimited token spend permission right what does that mean for example if you are on uniswap um, and then you which we all know uniswap is trusted but if we're talking about in another dApp where it's another type of coin let's say for example and it uses bnb for example and then you had to click on the permission and now said okay you have we give this website unlimited spend permit permission on my bnb or anything other than that for example and then what happens that creates a vulnerability because what if that website that you have just given admission given permission to is vulnerable and another hacker targeted your wallet address now he targeted your wallet address and it was like okay now i can see this weak point let me go through and hack through that website and then get access to your wallet which has unlimited permissions now i can control all this stuff in your wallet so that is the issue right here now a lot of us have done this i've basically never have changed the permission uh, editing permission uh, where you can so for example set it to a custom spend limit where for example if you're in a dap and you want to deposit i say a thousand dollars you can just click edit permission put in here a thousand dollars and then it will never go over that the permission 
it will never go over there basically but what if you are too late just like me and you have uh you know you've had you've also gone through probably multiple malicious uh or not even malicious probably vulnerable low security not audited you know contracts before and you kind of want to fix this what you have to do which i'm gonna leave a link in the description you want to go to here if you are in bsc scan i'm gonna leave also one for ethereum um in eth scan as well but this page is basically shows you the token approvals right and the the thing is all you have to do is just get your wallet address copy it and then you want to paste it after that you can literally everything's public so even a hack can do this if they really want to target you all they have to do is get your public address and then they can look at this they can look at okay let me see what he's connected to which ones have unlimited all right here it shows which one have unlimited and which one can i kind of find a breaking point to get access into that wallet so tip number one here that i just want to say first of all make sure you guys have multiple wallets right you don't want to have all your assets in under one wallet because of stuff like this you do not want to do this so maybe for example have a wallet for super risky um DeFi investments right and maybe have a wallet for drip just one wallet for drip uh, that ha that's only for drips for example and have another wallet for you know your long-term uh, saving which is like B bitcoin you know bnb your actual main account which has all this stuff and you know just to be safe because you know what if one got compromised and you know you have not nothing else to do um so my tip number one is obviously going for multiple wallets you want to do that um and i guess tip number two right now is to fix your mistakes so once you go here you guys can see the amount first of all that i have right this is just to show you guys i have what page one of six which is 25 right if i put this on 100 it has one of two i have a hundred of these tokens that are on unlimited right and the issue here is I'm no longer invested in these for example um i don't know these are very these are old investments for example look at right here unlimited high price i'm gonna revoke this and the good thing that you can and it's super easy but there's only one downside which is it will cost a transaction fee of around 11 cents so it will cost you money especially if you have a lot of um you know money if you have a lot of permissions just like me which is around 200 which will cost around 22 dollars to revoke all of them uh but you know I'd rather pay $22 for my own security because this is absolutely, um, you know, something that not a lot of MetaMask or just normal crypto people think about. You know what I mean? They look at low market caps, but are you really thinking about the step further that you're doing? Are you thinking about, you know, this is a security vulnerability for the wallet that you are signing up with? So what? thankfully, this is super easy to do once if you want to revoke access, you want to click on this button right here, connect to Web3. I'm going to click on it and then connect with your MetaMask. This is beta version, whatever. You just click OK. And now once you're connected, you can now revoke stuff. For example, Ikari Inu. I'm going to revoke that and click revoke. Just like that, it will ask for a transaction fee. As you guys can see, 10 cents. And now the good thing being on BSC scan, this is actually cheap and it will always say at 10 cents or 11 cents, it depends. But on the Ether scan, you know what I mean? It will become more, ex it, it will be expensive and you have to pick the right times to with low gas fees, which I think it's on like, a, you know, either Sunday night and Friday night or something like that. You guys can do your own research on when is the cheapest time. But after that, you're just going to have to carry on doing it. You know what I mean? Baby sheep at Christmas. What is that? I don't even remember investing in that. Well, actually I do it's been one of my Deegan plays very de much of my Deegan plays I just want to revoke everything other than stuff like that I absolutely trust um, for example you know uh, Hakuryu Hakuryu Inu right here I kind of trust that NFTB that's like an old thing that I kind of invested in I trust that but stuff like right here where it says approval approval sender Right, this is just a literal random wallet, these two. And I don't even know. For example, here one inch, we already know that's a it's a it's a DEX and PancakeSwap is another DEX, we, we trust that. And here BSC token hub, 
I don't know these stuff. So definitely, especially these ones that have access to my BUSD token, I want to revoke that. But basically, this will take obviously a long time to revoke everything. But guys, this will be worth your time. You want to be content. You want to be safe uh, and sound in this DeFi world, in this crypto world in general. Um, and then just remember in the future, you can as well look at edit permission. You want to click on that and then set the custom spend limit to the amount that you're actually planning to spend. Nothing more. You do not want to give it more than uh, unlimited permission because you know you might forget about that token but you know what i mean in months time that permission is going to stay there forever forever guys and some other vulnerable hacker you know some other hacker can target your wallet address in the future and then he's going to look at this he's going to go through here and he's going to say okay let me see what is my easy points to attack points of attack so okay for example eight fund oh yeah eight fund which not saying I invest in Apefund, which is absolutely fine. But he could say, okay, Apefund has a vulnerability and he has unlimited access there. I can access his wallet through that. So, you know what I mean? Just keep in mind, guys, of your unlimited, uh, absolutely only with trusted uh, sites that are audited, that are safe. For example, like Drip, I, I trust Drip. I'm going to keep that on unlimited, which I think either, either way it's on that. Yeah, which I'm going to keep that on unlimited. But... And my one final tip, which has a diff, which covers a different type of attack, right? Uh, and this is actually using um, a different browser specifically for crypto. Make sure you don't just go and have your daily browsing in your normal. Uh, don't have your MetaMask in your daily browsing. Don't use it. If you are gonna use it, make sure you come here and basically lock it every time you don't want to use it. Make sure you lock it so you have your password right why because sometimes if you leave a website open that is malicious it can sometimes interrupt mid transaction it can interrupt it and it can actually redirect that money that you're going to send whatever it was to that malicious wallet so make sure you either lock your metamask whenever you're not using it right here or make sure you only have a specific browser that has metamask and make sure you only make sure you only connect your wallet if you know that website is safe if you know that crypto is safe please guys look after yourself this is serious this is money it can save you thousands of dollars hundreds of thousands right people get hacked right people who are tech savvy get hacked so i will keep that there we'll end it Guys, I hope that this was helpful. Other than that, if you guys want to find a way on how to make 3% a day, 1% a day with the best low low risk um, dApps out there, well, I'm talking about the one and only Drip. I'm going to leave the playlist in the top left or top right. Obviously, not financial advice, but make sure to check out my other videos. And if you're new here, you know, make sure to subscribe for more security and crypto videos. I'm almost at uh, 400 subscribers, so absolutely excited. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos in the future and like this video if you enjoyed it and found it super helpful. Um, other than that, comment below. Did you have any previous experiences with that, you know, where you got, um, I guess, hacked or do you know any stories or any tips that you guys have security tips leave it all in the description share it with everyone who's watching this so make sure you scroll down and check the comments for more tips i'm going to pin them and heart them so everyone can see other than that guys thank you very much for watching my name is dj khaled and i'll see you in another video